Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first mukbang. Is that how you say it? I don't know! I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do on my channel after the awesome sauce that was Halloween. I had a lot of fun doing Halloween and I have some pretty cool ideas for Christmas, I think, but the in-between is weird. The in-between is weird because it's Thanksgiving. Really, the only thing that I could think of to do for Thanksgiving is, is eat a bunch. And you know, there's Black Friday shopping too, which I am all about. But I figured I would do a mukbang because I've never done one before. I see them all the time on YouTube. I definitely have some favorite uh, YouTubers who do mukbangs all the time. Trisha Paytas is like my queen and I love her so much. This is not gonna be that type of quality. I just, she's just so chill and relaxed. I feel like I'm a ball of anxiety, but I'm gonna do my best. So for my first mukbang ever, I decided I wanted to do Denny's because they have a turkey dinner and it sort of fits with the theme of Thanksgiving. Now how I've seen mukbangs work um, in the past is you just sort of eat on camera and talk about what you're, you're feeling or what you're thinking. So. That's gonna be what I'm gonna do. I'll show you some of my food. Oh, pecan pie, that is Thanksgiving, the 100%, yes. My biscuit, ton of napkins, gonna need those. And my turkey dinner, yum, yum, yum. Just, oh, there's something else in here. I've got cranberry sauce, and that is it in the bag. Ooh, yum. I mean, this is my turkey dinner. <laughs> so I've got turkey with gravy, I've got mashed potatoes with brown gravy, and I asked for steamed vegetables. Yummy. They didn't give me my side of gravy, and they didn't give me my side of butter. Denny's, what the hell? I'm very upset with you. At least it looks like they buttered my roll already, so. Mmm, it's garlic bread. Yummy. So I was trying to think of what I wanted to talk about while I was doing my mukbang. I uh, thought it feels rude like to talk to with food in my mouth, but I know that's sort of what a mukbang is. So I figured what I would do for my Thanksgiving themed mukbang uh, was talk about what I'm thankful for this year. I mean, I know it's a little cheesy. I'm sure people do it all the time for videos. It's nothing you haven't already seen before. It's nothing new. Um, it's nothing exciting and trending or whatever, but I do think it's important to talk about what you're thankful for. It makes you realize how lucky you are because I know for me especially I tend to fixate on a lot of the things that are going wrong in my husband and I's life like oh we got a flat tire great blah blah, blah 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 you know all the little things just sort of add up and you think things aren't going well but when you look back you have to realize how lucky you are and appreciate the things that you're thankful for so I figured I would just go through a few while eating this delicious garlic bread. This cranberry sauce is straight out of the can. You can see the can marks on the cranberry sauce. That's fine, I don't mind cranberry sauce out of a can. My cat just came in and he is gonna start begging for food hard. This is gonna mess up my lipstick. This is pretty good. <laughs> so like I said, I know that this video might be a little cheesy, to some. I'm sure a lot of people do like what I'm thankful for videos around this time, but I want to do it because I haven't done it before. So we're going to do it and we're going to eat together and it'll be fine. I like really mix up my potatoes because I don't like giant chunks of gravy. I just like it to be like a mixture of potatoes and gravy together. So the things I'm thankful for, obviously one would just be the fact that I get to wake up in the morning. Um, it sounds kind of silly and honestly it's a little new. Um, within the last few years I think I've been happy to be alive and you might find that sad, sad but I am happy with that. That I've gotten to a place where I am happy. Another thing that I'm thankful for is my relatively good health. By no stretch of the imagination do I have perfect health. I do have bouts where I have a hard time taking care of myself, but I am thankful that I'm relatively healthy and that my friends and family are relatively healthy. Feel free to skip ahead to this to, to the timestamp I'm gonna put right here, because um, this one is a little sad, a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be for some people, but I'm really glad that. 
or I'm very thankful that I got to say goodbye to my grandmother before she passed away this year. I almost didn't because she had been hospitalized so many times and she had been sent to the emergency room so many times that it, it had gotten to a point where it wasn't really a big deal anymore because it was sort of like, oh, Graham's in the hospital again, you know, she's dehydrated or she fell or something, you know, um, which is why she went into a nursing home so that she would be taken care of and people would make sure that those things didn't happen. But this last time she was hospitalized, it was sort of one of those things where it was like, oh, well, she's been hospitalized so much, she always makes it out okay, that's fine. So I almost didn't go to visit. Thank goodness that I did because I got to say goodbye and she was cognitive and knew I was there and my sister got to say goodbye because we FaceTimed her into the room, which was really nice. It, she, my grandmother was lit up when she saw my sister on my phone, so I'm really thankful that I got to have that moment. Okay, we'll get back into it. <laughs> Enough depressing stuff. Things that I'm th grateful for. I'm grateful for Denny's <laughs> and food. I love food. I'm grateful for coffee. Mm. Speaking of coffee. I'm really grateful for the friends that I've made this year. I've made a lot of friends and I'm proud of myself for that. It's weird. I have I have such a strange personality type. I should take one of those tests, honestly, because I don't know what it would come up as, but like I love going out and doing things, right? But I'm such a recluse at the same time. Like, I would rather stay home and watch Netflix. But I get in these weird sort of waves of, I need to be doing something, I need to be doing something. I mean, I have a lot of hobbies, don't get me wrong. I do crafting, I do YouTube, I have my dance group, lots of stuff that I'm doing, which I like. I like to stay busy. But then, when I first meet somebody, I'm like super shy. Like really, really shy. Like not myself at all. I'm basically a different person when I first meet you. And then after like a few, it takes me a while to warm up to people too. But after a few weeks or a few months go by, depending on how often I see you, you know, I sort of warm up and, and crack open my shell. But if you asked anybody who already knows me, they wouldn't say that I'm like an introvert. They would probably say I'm an extrovert because I do get my energy from social interactions. It's just weird. But I'm very thankful for the friends that I've made this year, specifically in my dance group. It's given me a lot of confidence and all of those girls and guys are really fantastic and talented people. And I love surrounding myself with those types of people because I can just sort of like soak in all of their creative like vibes and it just makes me feel really great. Pat yourself on the back, Jamie. You made some friends. I'm also really thankful of the friends that I've had over this past year and, and previously. You know, friends that have stuck with me through the tough times that I've had this year. I don't know how any of them feel about being like called out on YouTube, like their names or anything specifically. So, so I'll just say, you know, like Julian and I have this couple friends that lives like 20 minutes away and they're great, you know, they always want to hang out and we always have so much fun even though we're not really, we don't even really do anything, we just sort of chill, you know, but sometimes that's just really nice is to just chill. And then I've got this really sweet girlfriend from back in my hometown. We don't get to see each other very often, but anytime we do, I literally just have such a great time. And she's such a sweet individual and she just melts my heart. And you know, all the friends I've made on my podcast too, my Dungeons and Dragons podcast. We just went through a big group switch this year. So like I have my friends from my previous group and then I have new friends that I'm just meeting for the first time. I feel very surrounded with love this year and it's nice. I'm starting to get full. Like I don't think I can finish this. I'm not a big stuffing fan anyway, so I might just skip over that. My favorite food in the entire world though is potatoes. I love potatoes. Like if I was ever in jail and they asked me what my last meal would be, I would say a bucket of Applebee's loaded mashed potatoes, for sure. Oh, my cranberry sauce. I gotta eat the cranberry sauce though. I love cranberry sauce. And then, you know, I'm obviously really thankful for the family that I have. 
this year in general has been just weird. You know, like my sister moved out to California and my grandmother passed and my parents moved down to Florida. From my side of the family, there's not really anybody up here left. I've got two aunts here left and some extended family. I've got, I don't really even know what her relation to me is, but she was best friends with my grandmother. She lived next door to me all my life. The sweetest woman you will ever meet. Um, but at the same time, she has fire. She is a firecracker. Um, I've got her. We don't really see each other very much, but I know that if anything, you know, were happening or was wrong, she would be there for me and I would be there for her. That's kind of all for my side of the family that's up here and that's left. So it's just been kind of weird, but I'm very thankful for, you know, the family that I have because I love them a lot, so, so much. Not to mention Julian's family. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Like, it's so weird, you know, when you're dating somebody, you sort of hear horror stories of what your in-laws are gonna be like. Um, I hit the mother freaking jackpot on my in-laws. Like, they are the sweetest, most generous people I've ever met. I tell my husband all the time that they're just too nice. So I'm very thankful for his family, you know, all his siblings, and they're all so nice. Like, we were dating for a while before, you know, we got engaged and got married and everything, but like the second they found out we were engaged, they just welcomed me into the family with such warm open arms and I don't think they, I mean, I know I've said thank you, but I don't know that they know how much that meant to me. Um, you know, it's just, it, it really meant a lot. It really meant a lot. If any of you are watching, it really meant a lot to me that you guys did that. So now we're gonna dig into our pecan pie. <laughs> Speaking of family, I'm extremely thankful for my sister. I don't know what I would do without her. It's weird to not have her here, you know. When she lived in Maine with me, we literally probably saw each other, pff, not every week, but very close. It was like every other week, maybe. Like we hung out a lot and we did the weirdest stuff together. I miss her a lot, but she's always there for me, no matter what it is, you know, if I message her or call her. She always picks up when I call her, which I super appreciate because she is crazy busy. So she and my friend Jason, they work on the podcast together as their full-time job. But that is a lot of work for two people, like a lot of work for two people. So she's crazy busy. But anytime I ever call or like, hey, can I talk to you tonight? I, I just really need to talk to somebody or, you know, this happened and I just need to talk. She's always there. She basically drops whatever she's doing to help me and she's my rock, which is weird because I'm the older sister. So you'd think I would be the rock for her, but it's totally the other way around. She is my rock. I'm a very lucky individual. And I have people around me who are so sweet and loving and caring and giving. I'm just really lucky, I'm a lucky lady. I also, for this video, instead of getting my usual coffee, I got maple pecan, because I figured it sort of went with Thanksgiving. I should have got pumpkin, but, and you know, let me fix my lipstick really quick. I look like a hot mess. And then, last but not least, certainly, certainly not least, I am so thankful for Julian, my husband. He is really amazing. He is a great person. Um, I don't think I could say enough about him. I just love him so much and I'm so thankful that he chose me and I chose him. We are team us. We say that all the time. You know, it's team us against the world. So suck it world, we're coming for you. Anyway, that's what I'm thankful for. There's so many other things, so many other minuscule things that I'm thankful for, but obviously I didn't want to make this a crazy long video of just me rambling while stuffing my face. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another one. I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic. I hear people say that all the time, that the reason they do mukbangs isn't necessarily for, you know, people to watch them, but it's because it's therapeutic to do. I definitely do feel a little bit, a little bit of relief, a little bit of therapeuticness. So that's my mukbang. All right, everybody. So I don't, I don't know what even to say. Like if you enjoyed this, I don't even, what did, did you, do you eat along with these videos? Is that what people do? Cause I just put them on in the background while I'm 
doing other things and I just like it. I don't know what it is about it, I just like it. What is it that you like about mukbangs? Tell me in the comments below. But if you did like this video, or you liked me, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'd severely appreciate it. We're so close to 100 subscribers. Mama wants that custom URL. Well, I am gonna go and try to digest some of this food. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you all on Black Friday. We gonna shop till we drop.